Hey everyone, it's Ricky Molina from the Ricky Molina YouTube channel um, where I share with you original compositions. I've got some music videos for you, um, orchestral arrangements, uh, traditional songs, different types of styles of songs, um, and music uh, for cinema, music for commercials as well. And every now and then I like to do a video um, sharing some tips and tricks uh, maybe some product reviews for you. Uh, today um, I'm doing a video on guitar picks because uh, guitar picks are very important uh, when it comes to playing different styles of music and especially when it's when you're soloing or strumming. Uh, you definitely want to use a guitar pick. Now the question is what type of guitar pick should you use? And uh, that obviously depends on your style and the type of music that you're playing. Um, I'd like to also briefly mention that finger picking is, is absolutely uh, critical when it comes to playing certain types of music. And you should develop your skill uh, as a finger picking type of guitarist as well as using a pick. Now there are some guitarists who com combine using a pick as well as finger picking. One of the guitarists who used to like to um, use a combination of finger picking and using a straight pick was Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Um, he used to literally hold the pick between his index finger and thumb and then pluck with the other finger, so, which I find almost impossible to do. In my in my case, I, I would pref much prefer using a fing finger picking to, to a pick in that particular instance. Well, this video is about choosing the right guitar pick for the type of music you're playing. So I won't get into finger picking per se. Um, but there's some really great finger pickers out there, and I'm probably going to do a video about that on a, in a separate video about finger picking. Uh, but this being a video on guitar picks, let's get to it. Um, there are essentially two things you need to consider when you're choosing your guitar picks. Um, the first is thickness. I think thickness is actually more important than size uh, because it'll determine the type of sound you get um, uh, and you can actually get get away with playing fast pieces with with a medium sized pick. This is a medium uh, thickness as well as a medium sized pick. Um, uh, then we have the thinner picks from Fender and such. These are very easy to bend. Um, these are more suitable for strumming. So I think when it comes to uh, first of all, you have thickness and size. Thickness is more useful for soloing uh, as opposed to strumming. I, I tend to like to use the thin picks for strumming and the thicker picks for soloing. And it also has to do with the thickness of the string itself. If you're playing a bass guitar, for example, you definitely want to use a thick pick and um, it should be quite large. Um, you know, Chris Squire from Yes comes to mind. Uh, Paul McCartney used the pick when playing the bass. Um, they're bass guitarists who swear not to use a pick at all. They prefer using their fingers and slapping uh, the, the bass strings. Um, but I think, in general, the thicker the guitar string, like a flat wound jazz guitar, 12s, 14s, things like that, you're going to need a thicker guitar pick if you're using a pick at all. Well, Joe Pass recommended using a smaller size pick because he believed that too big of a pick would get in the way with the anatomy of playing the instrument. So he, he didn't like, for instance, having a, a guitar pick that would uh, overwhelm his physical anatomy. So it, it you know, it, it, it became like a natural extension, almost like a fingernail for him. So the closer you were to the flesh, uh, he believed the, the closer you were to, the, to, to, his, to your soul in playing and also in terms of the sound. Uh, so, you know, he had some pretty fast uh, riffs going there, and um, a nice hard pick for that uh, would be very useful. Um, then you have these uh, 
artificial fingernail type of extension picks where you just slip them over your 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 the tops the tips of your fingers and um, some people use them on the thumb and they like to pick um, uh, perpendicularly to the string um, sort of like this so that they get the the perpendicular uh, playing of the string. I particularly never really cared for those extension, artificial extensions like you see a lot in bluegrass and country. Banjo players use them. Um, dobro players, resonator guitar players use them a lot. Um, I just like to use, if I'm, if I'm, I generally like to use either a, a thin pick of this nature for strumming and uh, a medium pick for a thicker pick either this size or the teardrop size for soloing. Okay, well, one of the first things I like to talk about here in terms of like which picks to use for certain types of styles of music, um, I think if it, when it comes to strumming, I personally prefer to use a Fender Thin pick like this uh, as opposed to a thicker pick. I, again, I tend to like to favor the thicker picks for soloing as opposed to uh, strumming. Uh, so, Let's compare the difference in sound. Let's take a song like Melissa from the Allman Brothers, for example. Okay, now let's do the same thing, except slide it down toward close to the bridge to exaggerate the point. Now, if you notice, I've been strumming with the softer, rounder edge, rounder part of the pick as opposed to the pointy part. I personally find that by strumming, I get a nice sort of nice surface area that way. I get more surface area and I get a little more warmth that way. Uh, if I use the pointy edge, it'll sound like this. So definitely a lot mellower if I use the rounder side of the pick. Now let's switch over to the thin pick from Fender. I'm going to obviously um, I'm going to play it again with the with the round edge of the pick as opposed to the pointy edge at first, and we'll slide it up and down and compare the sound, if you will, between the, the hard pick and the thin pick. Okay, so you may have noticed a difference in the sound quality. Um, again, you get you get to hear a little more of the percussive effect, I think, against the strings if you use a thinner pick. I kind of prefer it to, for strumming songs. Um, the thicker pick doesn't sound bad. It gives you actually more projection. It's a it's a more powerful strike than a thin pick. But I kind of don't like the inflexibility when it comes to strumming across strings. So that's just my um, my thing. Um, my advice is probably to just, if you're strumming, try the thin picks. But again, with all of this 
material here. I would get a, a just a an array, a, just a variety of picks, and of different thicknesses and sizes, and try them out in different locations uh, for strumming and for soloing. Um, uh, finally, I like to just talk about soloing and the types of picks that are available for soloing. Um, you know, probably one of the best picking guitarists around um, that you'll come across is Aldi Miola. Uh, he's from New Jersey, and he went to the Berklee School of Music, and he's a, a jazz rock fusion. Um, he has a Spanish kind of sound, though, when you listen to him, uh, like Casino, the Casino album. Um, and uh, when, he, when he plays with uh, McLaughlin, Paco de Lucia, there's a very famous album called Friday, Friday Night in San Francisco. And a really good song to listen to is Fantasia Suite, where he actually plays uh, fast picking. But he's an excellent example of if you want a, a somebody to look to, to for guidance on picking uh, styles, um, his picking ability is incredible and his rhythmic uh, talent is incredible as well. One of the things he emphasizes when he uh, gives lessons on um, playing is, you know, to always keep the beat in mind. You should be tapping it with your with your one of your feet as you're playing. And I noticed that he uses uh, a medium sized pick, and it's probably medium thickness um, based on the sound of what I'm hearing. Now you can also use the thinner. Uh, um, the smaller teardrop medium if you want for speed but I noticed that he he tends to like to use this size so fantasy is sweet is a great example of of his picking ability and he's playing this on this live album Friday night in San Francisco with McLaughlin and um, Paco de Lucia <laughs> actually doing there is actually almost like rubbing the, um, the soft edge of the, the the rounded edge of the guitar pick against the strings Anyways, that's a good example of um, of faster picking. And one of the things that I like to point out about his style is also when he picks, he tends to mute at the same time. So he's not necessarily always playing um, the clear note for the ringing, ringing out sustain of it. He's actually going for the muted sound, so it'll actually rest the fleshy part of his palm in front of the bridge while he's picking. So it'll be like... You have to really try different areas of um, closer and farther. I think it's more closer to the bridge, actually. But then how he actually... to regular strumming here. He's actually muted. Okay, to wrap things up, I just wanted to uh, review a few points that, number one, you should experiment with different types of picks. So um, go down to the music store and or online and get just different, ex explore different thicknesses and different sizes um, when it comes to guitar picks. And also, don't forget that finger picking itself without the use of uh, plastic or artificial uh, plucking instruments, uh, your natural fingernails is also very important 
to develop. And um, the size, the length of your fingernails is going to affect how you play. In another video, I'll talk about finger picking and the and your nails. Um, but in summary, uh, just go out there and try out different picks and to fit the type of music that you're playing. And um, again, thickness is, I think, more important than size. Um, and when it comes to soloing, I think you want to go with a medium to a hard. I think a medium would suffice. And uh, for strumming, you probably want to go with a thin. Anyways, that's my advice on the subject, and um, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is R Ricky Molina from the Ricky Molina channel signing off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and like it and uh, subscribe as well. And I hope to have more videos for you in the near future. Thank you very much for listening and watching.